Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into a state. So let's understand this topic. So in the earlier session, we have looked into props where we have understand about props that is get passed to the component through function parameter. If you look it over here, we are passing the prop through the parameter. This is an arrow function and this is the parameter of the arrow function as it is containing only single value. That's the reason we haven't provided the parenthesis. So this is what we have seen in our earlier session. Now let's understand that what actually the state is and why a state is needed. One thing you always remember about prop is that props is immutable. So that means once it is being assigned, you can't change the value of the props. So this is the issue with props. So to handle such scenario where we want to change the value of a component at the runtime, then a state will come to rescue us. So how it rescues us? A state is managed within the component and we can easily change the value of the state with the help of set state function. When we are writing the class component, then we will use this dot state to assign the state value for a component. In a JavaScript term, state is nothing but an object where we can keep key value pair to hold the information which is required within component. So let's understand with an example. First, we will understand that why props can't be used and how immutable behavior of props stops us to update the value while runtime. So to make the example more meaningful, I am going to introduce another properties which is containing the color for the div and this color will represent whether the user is a silver member or whether he is a gold member. So let's do the modification. So let's use the style tag over here. A style I am going to discuss later in the course in some other session. For a time being, just to remember that how you can apply a style to the react div. So you can write something like this. There are various ways we can do, but for a time being, I'm just using this one. So here you can specify the double curly braces and within that we need to specify background color. And over here we need to specify the props which I'm going to use and I'm going to use membership type. I'm going to pass a color code over here. Save it. Now go to the app.js and from here we need to specify M type. The user is a silver member, so I'm passing it gray save it now let's look into the output and you will find it over here it has applied the background color which is representing the person is a silver member so now what i want i want to override this color while clicking of a button called upgrade membership so that it will change to gold membership so prior to writing such feature let's look into the problem of props when we try to change the value at runtime. So for example, if you go to header.js and over here, if you want to assign a value to the props, props.m type, and here you are assigning as a gold membership gold, then you will find that it will fail because we are trying to assigning the value at which we have already assigned over here. Now again, we are assigning props value with the gold. So it will throw us the error so let's look into the error what error we will get so see here it has thrown the same error that cannot assign read only property m type of object this one so see here it has thrown the error over here so how we can resolve this error so let's look into that so to resolve this error i am going to change this functional component as a class component so that i can use a state object and build the logic for the requirement as state offers us to override the value at runtime. So let's do it. First delete this line. This is not being required. Now over here, I need to change the export from class and const will go. And over here, I need to specify extends component. Once it is being done, then we will change it to render function render once it is being changed cut this out curly braces and within over here we will specify that now the third step we need to introduce the constructor so that whenever an object is being created it is being initialized so the pattern should be like this we need to specify constructor keyword and along with that we need to also specify super keyword so that it will pass the value to the component which is the super class of this particular component header component so this is a pattern you should remember it and then afterward we need to specify like this dot state i'm going to create an object state and within that i'm going to have a key value pair like m type and i will specify 
earlier the user is a silver member so i will specify gray save it and i will remove this one this m type from here because i don't want to pass it as a property so once it is being done we can also export it as we have used the named export so i can tell export then this error will go away save it and over here we are getting various error to resolve this error we need to specify this keyword this dot props again for each of the props which we have used earlier with the functional component here we need to use this dot props same is the case with this one this dot props and this dot props so now we should make sure that we are returning it currently we are not returning so that the reason we are getting below error make sure that everything is being returned like this we should specify over here return save it the semicolon you should remove it make sure that you are closing it at a proper place control x control v save it now this is being done now let's look into the output so output came very well now we need a button over here which i will click and it i will tell that upgrade membership so that it will change the color from silver to gold so let's do it and over here we will introduce a button 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 and here we need to specify say upgrade membership now we have created it let's look into the output now we got some ugly looking button that is fine if you click it over here you will not get any functionality now let's add the functionality so let's go to the visual studio code so to add it a click event we need to specify on click so remember the camel casing as it is a part of react naming convention so you should remember it and over here we need to pass the arrow function so within the curly braces i am going to define an arrow function and which is being called this dot upgrade i am going to define this method upgrade membership so i have defined a arrow function now let's create this upgrade membership so over here we will go up and then we need to create upgrade membership over here and what this method will do this will call this dot set state and this set state is used to update the value of the state so which value i want to update i'm going to update m type so let's do it over here within the curly braces i need to specify m type and i want to change it to the gold membership so i'm going to change the color save it so let's look into the output and prior to seeing the output you have to make sure that you are going to change it over here state from props to state and save it now let's look into the output and over here let's click on upgrade membership and then you will find that it has changed the color so now the david johnson user is from silver to gold so this is just a demo with the help of this demo i wanted to demonstrate you how to use a state object and how we can change the value of state object at runtime so now let's proceed further if you have any doubt about on click method and event binding then don't worry i'm going to have a detailed session in the upcoming sessions so so on this note i'm stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care